Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we are biking Golden Gate Park. Hey there everyone, we are walking towards a like bike rental place. We were supposed to stop like three stops away, but we we were distracted. So we're walking there right now. We are excited because we have blue skies. There is no cloud in sight, so it should be perfect for biking. To start the video off, I just want to give you a tiny bit of history and background on this place. Golden Gate Park actually originated back in the 1860s. This was a time when New York was already developing Central Park, so San Francisco didn't want to stay behind. So they decided to develop a park of their own. The main purpose of this park is the recreational use of the citizens here in San Francisco. Throughout the years, they've added a lot of different things that make this park one of a kind. They have waterfalls, they have lakes, they have places where you can bring your dog, they have places where people can play music, there's museums. Overall, there's a lot of different things to do. You can also see people running or biking, which is what we are doing today. Our main hope is to show you what is there to see and to do. So if you're interested, come with us. We've been biking for a little bit and we just got here to Stowe Lake. We also found like a, a map of the entire park and you're able to see like what are the major attractions and whatnot. So it's a really good point of reference if you want to go ahead and check out what are the different things that you can do here at Golden Gate Park. So what we want to do here at Stowe Lake is go ahead and reach the middle. It's a little hill and climb all the way up to see what we can find. And we're finally crossing the bridge, we're on it, I'm going to look just over the shoulder to see what's up and the lake continues that way. Really awesome views to the right, you can see the, the bridge over there, that's where we started to, to climb this, but we're going this way, we're going to the top. I wonder if people actually like cheat in order to get to the top. Like instead of like just walking normally like we're doing through this path, they just like climb up this little hill. I, I don't think it's that hard, but I'm just wondering like how many people actually do that. Can you guys hear that sound? Not the footstep. Can you guys hear like the water? I think we're about to get to the waterfall. Here at Stowe Lake. This is where it starts. And this is where it goes. And look at that guy taking a picture. He's risking it for the vine. He's like getting all up in there. Good for him. We're gonna first go up and then head to the bottom to see the rest as we are leaving this place. We have a mission first. We're getting to the top before anything else. So we finally made it to the top. I thought it was gonna be like a little empty. It was kind of anticlimactic. Like I thought I was gonna be one of the few people here and like rocky music was gonna play in the background, but nah, there's like people having a party over there. There's people just chilling here on the tree trunks and uh, just having a good time. Of course, we're catching more views from the top. We're heading down, but I just wanted to mention something. This is supposed to be a place where there's a lot of like butterflies, at least from what I read in that sign over there at the beginning. But I haven't seen any butterfly of any type at all. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe it said, I, maybe I forgot to read something and it said that it used to be a place. But I haven't seen anything as of yet. 
We finally made it to the bottom. This looks so cool. If you turn right here, you can go ahead and see the waterfall. In all its majesty, in all its glory. I didn't record that earlier, but this kid in back of me, he was like hanging from a rock like all the way up there. I was like, what the heck is going on? And I think at the end, like the parent came and like took him down, but man, like that is an extreme trial right there. Don't do it, boy. Don't do it. Are you daring me to go there and take a picture there? I might do it. I didn't think I was gonna do it, right? Ugh. In the waterfall. Yeah. Thought I was lying, right, when I said that? Well, no, I'm extreme too. Oh, so we just went through uh, yeah, Strawberry Hill me. in Stowe Lake, yeah. and right now we said we we're going to the conservatory, right? Oh, that's right there. Before coming here, I kind of read online a little bit about this museum, the Young and the Academy of Sciences. And what I learned is that, that the Young Museum started with like a really rich person here from San Francisco who started like his own art gallery. I think the name of this particular building before it became the Young Museum, it was like the art building or something like that. And basically he, uh, the rich man that I told you, he would buy like a lot of different uh, like art uh, things and uh, display them there and uh, eventually he ran out of place to put all of those like paintings or whatever it is uh, I've never been in there so I don't know exactly what they have there but uh, they had to build this building in back of me and they named it after the man who started it all I don't really know what the price for the entrance is but that's not what we are here today we want to do a lot of like the free things available here maybe we come back another day but for now we're just gonna check things from the outside. This is the current exhibition that's being shown here at the Young Museum. Contemporary Muslim fashions. That looks really cool. And right in front of the Young Museum, we can see the Academy of Life and Sciences Museum. And uh, there they have a lot of different exhibitions. I couldn't uh, name them all. They have like crystals, they have fossils, they have like aquarium they have like a biodome or something like that not only that but it also has like an earthquake simulator and uh, i had the opportunity to do that it was really cool really exciting i definitely uh, recommend that you visit if you are here in san francisco definitely a lot of things to see over there right next to the academy of life and sciences museum there's the band show so this is a place where they do a lot of like concerts last year that i came here there was like a choir from like people from all over the world that was singing here so it was something really interesting to see right now there's a man playing an instrument that i'm not too sure what it is but it sounds pretty cool and it's drawing a crowd slowly but surely again this is a very family friendly environment um, you could come here with your family and friends go visit one of the museums or both and then you can also come here uh, and relax a little bit as you listen to some music or um, bring food and enjoy like a picnic next to a fountain or something like that we're here back at the bike station area. We're about to go to the Conservatory of Flowers. And boom, just like that, we made it to the Conservatory of Flowers. This building behind me. Something interesting about this place is that at night, some days not not every day some days they do a light show so you see how the building is completely white at night they just do a light show and they play music and it looks really cool and the lights cover like the whole building and stuff so it's really something something really cool to see i don't know exactly what days they do this but uh i've seen it a few times and it's it's really good so we're here staring at the gift of the fisher families it's a big clock and it's like a little garden. It looks kind of cool to be honest. For right now, I'm just gonna chill for a little bit and let the day pass like there's no tomorrow.
So apparently there's a wedding going on uh, right next to the uh, conservatory so we can't go there and take pictures which kind of sucks. <sighs> we're all done here at the conservatory of flowers. Right now we're heading to I think it was the windmills. I have no clue exactly where we'll be going but we'll see you when we get there. We are here, we made it to the windmill. It's right here, it looks great. Ugh, it reminds me of that Spanish uh, tale, uh, Don Quixote. You win. Really interesting to see something like this in real life. But it's huge, look at that. This is also a very peaceful place. Uh, right here in back of me, there are a group of old people and they're just having a conversation, laughing, and uh, just having a good time overall. There's also some holes along the windmill. I'm pretty sure that they're for a specific reason. I am ignorant to that reason, but looks interesting. This is one of the last places we're visiting today. I've had a really good time uh, with my friend Emanuele just checking all these places. Right now it's starting to get dark around 6. It's about to be 5 so we don't have too much time left but uh, we'll enjoy as much as we can of it. Just a street away from uh, Golden Gate Park there is Ocean Beach. Beautiful beach here. There's graffiti. There's a lot to see and to do. There's people playing games. Just basic things that you can do in the beach you can do here. What we're going to do right now is take all this road and head to another windmill that is in another corner of the park. But of course, we need to take a few pictures first. We got here to the other windmill. My friend Emma is over there taking some pictures. He is a professional photographer here. Anyways, uh, this is another windmill. It's smaller than the other one, like I said, but still really cool. So we're stopping here before heading back to return these babies. My friend is taking pictures of random strangers. He's a good guy. I think he's done taking pictures of the windmill. So we'll be heading back to return the bikes in a little bit. So right now we're going back and uh, Emanuele um, told me something very interesting. We are at the height of 48th Avenue and we have to go to the 8th Avenue. So we need 40 to go. 40 to go boys! Emma, we can do this bro! No. We are 19th. We're in 48. Now we need 11 more streets and we're there. They close at 7. And we just got here. Uh, we're turning in the bikes and paying our dues. Woo. Remember guys to be kind, have an open mind. We'll see you next time.